Hi, my name is Jared, and uh, I'm building a boat. So I'm uh, just going to make a series of videos showing you how. Um, I have never built a boat before, but um, I've been reading some books, and I build a lot of stuff. I'm pretty good with uh, a saw and, and uh, metalwork as well, and woodwork. Um, <clears throat> the book that I got, uh, I got two books actually. The first book I got is um, Instant Boat Building with uh, Dynamite Payson. And uh, this guy basically, him and somebody else who designed all the boats that he built, named Phil Blodgett, um, actually invented or came up with this uh, style of boat building. It's a very simplified style. Um, I would definitely suggest you get this this book if you if you were going to look at, if you were going to buy a book to read. Um, the the plans are a little bit more complex in this book because uh, it was really the first book on this. Um, I got this other book called Ultra Simple Boat Building which has some very simplified plans. Some of them are just silly, like square boxes, so I'm not trying to build a boat like that. Um, <clears throat> the boat I'm actually building is, this is a model of it. It's, uh, it, the, full, the full plans are in this book over here, Ultra, in ultra Simple Boat Building, and I'll go into that in a second. But um, it's a nine foot fishing skiff, um, and I've actually decided that I want it to also be a sailing dinghy. So, um, what I'm going to do is this this thwart right here um, is actually going to be like the the center. I'm going to put flotation in here with little access panels for uh, lines and stuff. Uh, it has a center. I've made it so it's going to have a center board there <coughs> to keep it from uh, falling over under sail power. And the sail that I'm that I think I'm going to use is uh, this is a this is a model of the sail. It's actually from the first book from. Uh, Dynamite Payson's book over here, and it's for a boat called Car Topper, um, and this is the sail. It's called a Spirit Rig. Uh, they have two different types of sails for this boat, but I decided I like this this one. It's called a Spirit Rig, um, so you don't have you don't need as long of a mast, which is very helpful. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to be doing, and uh, let me go over you with you guys the plans for this boat, just the hull. Um, I'm not going to build, in, in the plans in the uh, ultra simple boat building, it goes over, um, it has plans for different seats and stuff inside. I'm not going to be building the seats. I'm actually just going to be building the, uh, the the hull. So all I need to do is have the, the bottom, the two sides, the transom, the front transom, which is very small right there, and the foredeck, which I'm actually going to extend the foredeck too. So let me go here. Um, ultra simple boat building. Let me see. This boat is it was originally called Jiggity. It's actually <laughs> based completely on a boat from from uh, Dynamite's book. Um, but he 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 basically reworked it, made it a little bit more simple. You can see here. Uh, you can't really. Um, but the overall length is uh, nine feet four inches. The uh, beam, which is the width at the widest point, is. Uh, 47 and a half inches. It only weighs 70 to 85 pounds when it's done, and it can hold a whopping 500 pounds, two adults and probably a couple other people, smaller people. Um, <coughs> there's some of the drawings here, but the one that I want to go with, go to is here. This is the, um, the plywood layout. So if you look here, that's one piece of plywood, and that's another piece of plywood. And what what they want you to do is is connect it with a butt joint um, first, and then cut out the pieces. So this would be a 16 foot piece of piece of wood basically merged from two four by eight pieces of plywood. Let me go back to um, Dynamite's book over here, and what I'm going to do is this book this this butt joint is supposed to be done with a piece of wood glued to the other two pieces of wood, a strip of wood glued across, but um. What this guy here has done, Dynamite Payson, came up with this method where you basically put fiberglass strips on either side. And there he is um, in this book doing it. And what you achieve from that is um, a, a, a joint that's actually stronger than the wood. So you could do a butt joint and that would be way stronger than the wood and would never break. The wood would break first in any case. But with, uh, with this, uh, this method, you don't have that bump from the wood. It's almost flat and it's still stronger than the, than the wood itself. So if you see here, it actually broke. This is the picture. He ran it over this truck or something. And um, that's where it broke. It didn't break on the joint itself. So that, that means the joint is stronger. So that's what I'm going to be doing hopefully today with my brother-in-law um, is 
gluing these two pieces together so that I can cut this out. Uh, my next video is going to just be me showing you guys um, the materials I bought and why I picked what. So uh, have a good day.